Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Oh man, this game is so great. We are finally making some progress in the investigation of this trial, um, of this case. But at the same time, it's not looking too good for Edgeworth because even if we're able to prove him innocent of murdering Robert Hammond, Right now, it's looking like he might have been the one who killed his father all those years ago in the DL6 incident. So let's continue on and see what we're going to do about that. I have like a little cold right now, just to let you know. <clears throat> so my voice acting is probably going to suck. Alright, let's go. Um, hmm. I don't remember. What am I supposed to do? <clears throat> okay, looks like I made the right choice. One day left, Nick. Yeah, I know. Well, no time to waste. Let's get going. Uh, I don't think I have to talk to you. She said let's get going. Um, Where haven't I been? Oh, okay, Criminal Affairs Department. Yeah, let's talk to Gumshoe. There's hardly anyone here. Everyone must be out looking for the old guy, Yogi. Oh, it's you. I don't think Gumshoe will be coming back today. He's staying out late looking for someone. Oh. That's right. Why did I bother coming here then? <laughs> <clears throat> Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is pounding the pavement for real. Um, we were wondering if we... Oh, that's right. We were wondering if we could check out the records room again. Well, no, I can't just have anyone wandering around in there. But I guess Mr. Von Karma isn't in there now anyway. Wait, Illis, he's in there right now. Ah, okay. You can go in as long as he's there. Von Karma? Yes, he just arrived, actually. Von Karma's in the records room? Oh my god. Really? After we just found out that he's the one who... <laughs> uh, he's the one who did that letter to frame Edgeworth. Come on. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Nick, let's hurry. Alright, let's go see the douche. <clears throat> The music was playing even though gum, uh, Gumshoe's not there. <laughs> Alright. Dusty as always. We were only here just yesterday. I'm sure they just haven't had time to clean. What's wrong, Nick? Nothing. I was just noticing that he isn't here. Von Karma. Oh, well, I don't really want to see him anyway. <laughs> Alright. This is open. Huh? One of the drawers here is open. Someone must have been looking in it recently. The label says, Unsolved Cases, Evidence. Hmm. Unsolved Cases. Nick! The file for DL6! It's completely empty! W what? Oh no. What are you doing in here? Me? Von Karma? You. How do you know my name? Um, do you not recognize us? <laughs> Dude, I know you're old, but come on. Uh-huh. Have we met? W what are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? We're Miles Edgeworth's defense team. Defense team? Ahem, <clears throat> I beg your pardon. You see, I rarely remember defense attorneys. They are like bugs to me. Needless things to be crushed. I can see how this guy was Edgeworth's mentor. Oh gosh, really? You don't recognize us at all? Creepy old douche. It's so weird to see him like this, you know, compared to like 
in court. Really weird. Alright, let's talk, you douche nozzle. <clears throat> uh, um, Mr. Edgeworth was your student, right? A romanticist who could never shed that veneer of amateurism. Just like his father. Always second rate. Mr. Von Karma, you had an axe to grind with Mr. Gregory Edgeworth, didn't you? He's so bold, really, Phoenix? You're just gonna talk about <laughs> something like that? <clears throat> Can't believe it. That's pretty bold, actually. Me? A grudge against a mere defense attorney? Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record? Hmm. <laughs> so you did. But what I don't get is... Why did you take his son under your wing afterwards? The son of your most bitter rival. Yeah, that's weird. That, my dear attorney, is none of your business. Huh. Tomorrow's trial. Tomorrow will be the last day of this trial. It's been a while since I've had a defense attorney last this long. Still, you will lose in the end. Miles Edgeworth will admit his own guilt. His guilt of 15 years ago, you mean? You're quite the researcher. If you've done your homework so well. Oh, sorry. Something about that certainly you understand, I think he said. I don't know why I clicked. <laughs> I'm out of it. <clears throat> you know what Miles Edgeworth will tell the court to borrow? You were right. So Von Karma is going to bring up DL6 in court tomorrow. Now, I think we should just leave it like that and walk away. Right, guys? Right? Can we just go? Please? Please? <laughs> Why, Phoenix? Why? I hate this part so much. Why? I hate... I can't believe Phoenix is such an idiot to do this, honestly. I don't want to do it, but the game is not going to let me get away with not doing it, so... <clears throat> Here we go. Confrontation. Like an idiot! Mr. Von Karma... Have a look at this. It's so hypocritical because earlier, I think, he stopped Maya from presenting some evidence to someone, and now he's doing it. I'm like, why? This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Uh-oh. Yanni Yogi. How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. Uh, so you admit it? You... you wrote Mr. Yogi this letter? Yes, my dear defense attorney. Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. You've saved me from a lot of needless hassle. <sighs> What? N Nick, what is that thing? Oh no. Really? <sighs> A stun gun. For self defense, usually. Indeed. 600,000 volts will course through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. 600,000. Oh, don't worry. People don't die from it, usually. Now, give me the letter. No! No! What? what are you... Really, Maya? <laughs> well, she tried. <clears throat> Nick, run! Ah! Maya! Out of my way! Ugh! Oh man, that's so bad. She tried. She's so brave. <laughs> kind of foolish, but brave. 
He's an old guy. Just kick him in the balls and run. <laughs> That's what I would have done. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Ugh. He got us. The letters. Gone. Of course. You fools. And he took the DL6 evidence. All of it. Back to having no clues. Wait. Maya jumped first. Maya! Is she okay? And nobody found them, even though they screamed. Really? M Maya! Maya! Open your eyes! Uh-oh. Maya! Aww. The letter! Did he take it? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, are you okay? Aw, she's so cute. She was worried about the letter instead of herself. I... I couldn't stop him. No, don't cry, Maya. I jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. I'm no good as a lawyer. Or a medium. I can't even call my sister. Not even now, when we need her the most. I wish I hadn't woken up at all. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. No, Maya, don't say that. Maya. Ugh. There has to be some way I can help her. I better do something about her self-confidence first. Hmm? Maya, she's holding something. Oh, really? How convenient! Yay! What is that? A bullet? DL6 incident, evidence number 7, taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth. I remember. Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped him. You go, girl. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. Take that, Smooth! <laughs> uh, yeah, if he was here, he would have been... I don't know. I mean, he's been saying it, but I don't know. He's, he's a nice guy. He wouldn't be adding on to her suffering right now. <laughs> I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. Oh, man. Safe spot. I can't go too far because I do want the ending of this trial to have smooth in it because I want his blunt karma voice. We got to finish this together. Um, so I'll only go a little bit further. <clears throat> this is it. Judgment day. Today, things are going to get settled at last. A lot of things. Whoa! What's the big idea? S sorry, Nick. I only touched your shoulder. I was about to say, what the hell, another stun gun? <laughs> I guess the shock hasn't worn off from my run-in with the stun gun yesterday. Anyhow, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. Yeah, thanks, Maya. Edgeworth is looking glum as always. I hope Von Karma doesn't push him too hard. Of course he will, because he's an a-hole. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to... <clears throat> Whatever. What are you doing? Sorry! I'm sorry! She touched him too. <laughs> I just thought I'd ch cheer you up with the pat on the back. Maya, maybe you should go outside and discharge? Right. Good idea. Try not to electrocute anyone on your way out. Oh, too late for that. Whoa, pal. <laughs> oh man, I my, I could tell my voice acting is not gonna be good today. I'm just, yeah, sorry. <laughs> What's gotten into that girl, Detective Gumshoe? And why did not you guys didn't report that Von Karma did that to you? That's the part that doesn't make any sense to me. 
You were in a police station. All you had to do was say, you know, we just got electrocuted by this a-hole. <laughs> Seriously. Morning, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, good morning. How did it go, Detective? Have no fear. As promised, I've captured our runaway caretaker. I just brought him in. Took all night, pal. You should be exhausted. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. You must be tired. Actually, after that shock I got on the way in, I feel pretty good. Yogi says he's forgotten his own name. But that has to be a lie. Why would he want revenge on Edgeworth if he couldn't remember his past? He does remember, and I'm going to prove it. Okay, let's do that. <clears throat> Aw, this is my mommy's birthday, December 28th. <laughs> and my friend Will's birthday, too. Court is now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Hmm. The prosecution is ready. Oh, that's rare for you to actually say that. Oh, right, very well. We have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. I ask that the prosecution submit decisive evidence. Understood. Hmm. Interesting. Come on, don't be awed into silence by every little thing he says. Very well, Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Right. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I would like to ask the defense to cross-examine him as much as necessary. That's weird. Very well. Please bring the witness into the courtroom. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I believe you all remember our witness. He lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he witnessed the incident. In addition, he has currently lost memory of his name and identity. Witness, why did you run away yesterday? The witness was not running away, as he will now testify. Uh, I see. Very well, please begin your testimony. Um... Hmm... I guess I can... okay. <clears throat> he just woke up. <laughs> Why I left court. Er, I'm really sorry about just leaving yesterday like I did. But I wasn't running away or nothing. I, uh, went to buy some food for Polly, see? I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyway. Uh, I mean, I need one of those motor things, right? And I don't got one. So, my testimony yesterday stands as is. Huh. <sighs> mm, very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, shall we? He has to know his name. Yanni Yogi. You're Yanni Yogi, and I'm going to prove it. That's what we gotta do. Alright. I'm sorry about just leaving yesterday like you did. You're running away. Buy some food for Polly. Nothing to do with this incident in Let's press on that. You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Uh, uh, yep. Seems like it. Then how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with this incident? Uh... Or... Or maybe you're lying about not having your memory, hmm? You know exactly who you are. 
The witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. If you claim he's lying, then show the court proof. <sighs> How am I supposed to prove what's going on in that old codger's head? That's impossible. Hmm. I'm glad you've come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness. Please continue. Ooh, he need a motive, and he doesn't got one. Hold on. How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. You had a grudge against Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. He can't hold a grudge. It's impossible. I have to prove he's lying about his memory. Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing over and over until the trial ends. Might I say something, Mr. Wright? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. You've been saying the same thing now over and over. You've been calling the witness's memory of the past, or lack thereof, into question. But, does this really have anything to do with the current case? Of course, Your Honor. The witness has said he has nothing to do with this case, and no motive. Both of these statements are lies. Order, order. Mr. Wright, there is a serious problem with your claim. Or are you saying... Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Ho ho, now this is interesting. I would like to know myself. So, who is he? Don't play dumb, Von Karma. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please tell us this witness's name. Of course, this is Yanni Yogi. His name is Yanni Yogi, a former court bailiff. Yogi, that name seems familiar. It should, Your Honor, it should. Oh, Yanni Yogi, from the DL6 incident. Hey, not bad. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Your Honor. I thought the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. But what does this mean? Your Honor, if this man is Mr. Yogi, then he has a clear motive. <laughs> Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Yanni Yogi. Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? <sighs> this is a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof. And allow me to repeat once more that the witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. If I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now, then I've got nowhere else to go. Nick, how are you going to prove it? How can you prove that he's Yanni Yogi? It's okay. It's actually quite simple. Your Honor, please take this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on file for Yanni Yogi 15 years ago. I see. That makes sense. Uh-oh. Huh? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. W why? The witness has no fingerprints. Ah, oh, crap. What? What? No fingerprints? Er, uh, you see, before I worked as a caretaker, I worked at a chemical plant. How convenient. I burned my fingers working with the stuff. Uh, yep. W what? Yogi, 
You sneak. You burned your fingerprints off to hide your past? Yikes. Hmm. Well, if the witness has no fingerprints, I guess we would not be able to prove his identity. No. Well, what will you do, Mr. Wright? Uh... Hmm... It seems that the case has been decided. No. No. I know what happened. I know everything. I... I just can't prove it. But no. I can't let it end like this. I can't lose. There has to be another way. There is no one who can testify as to who this witness is. No one. Nick, what are we going to do? I didn't even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. What do I do? Well, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you'd like to cross-examine the parrot for a little comic relief, hmm? Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're a sore winner, Von Karma. Uh, wait a second. Cross-examine the parrot? What is it, Nick? No, you're not going to... Your Honor. The defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his proposal. Take Mr. Von Karma up? On his proposal. Even he's like, what? <laughs> I love this so much. Phoenix, you crazy genius. Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's pet parrot. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, and until next time, have a nice day. Bye!